wondering? We're gonna go for it. Get it. Let's go. Freddy's Nest episode three. 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 I'm pumped, dude. Spurred. Thanksgiving special. I'm Mason Shafronic. Jackson Gibbs. We're here. We've got a lot in store today. We've got three guests coming in. Three? Three. Um, got some food running. Thanksgiving special. We've got a lot to talk about. Let's, Let's start it. off first. Let's bring in our first guest, Thai Thai Turkey. How do you feel Hello, about uh, serving us today? What? How do you feel about serving us? Uh, it's going to be fun, you know. Might yeah, Tyler, what are you time. doing today? Um, so I'm dressing up like a turkey, and I'm giving you guys uh, some food. So this could be pretty fun. Well, can you bring the first course in? Yes, yes, yes. As this food's coming in, we'll start talking about stuff around the school, you know? Oh, yeah. First, Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for, Jackson? Thank, what I'm, what, let's start with you. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for our heroes in the world. Our paramedics, our firefighters, our police, they put their life on the line every day. They're, they're courageous. What are you thankful for? You know, I'm really thankful for some OG Fortnite coming back. I love that. That's a, that's a good pull. Um, okay, I guess we got three plates. Yeah, I don't know why we're running that's three for, plates. That's for our next guest. Are we just um, doing it right now? I guess. Let's dig in. Let me put the mic down. We got some cranberry sauce. Oh, my God. Let's see how it goes. It's not bad. I don't really like cranberries. No, I'm not a cranberry sauce guy. Never had it before. I actually think this is my first time too. It's very sour. A little bit. It's very chunky. We're just doing food review now. That's okay. true. Let's get into the meat and bones here. Ugh. Uh, what's going on in Frederick? Sadly, Frederick lost second round of playoffs, but played pretty well. They had a tough well. opponent, yeah. yeah. Number two ranked, Montrose. You know, props to the team making this far. You know, started 0 2, but just went on a run to get to the playoffs. Yeah. Sad to see these seniors' last games, not being able to see them next year. Like, that is true. Most of our offensive weapons, like Tristan, Jisrael, Burke, Gavin, we'll just be missing them next year. It's going to be a, a very interesting team next year. And there's a whole defensive line gone. Yeah. Dang. We're going to miss is, those dudes. What is Coach Lloyd going to do? I t couldn't tell you. I won't be here, so. Yeah, that's true. Not my problem. Yep. It'll be interesting. See how that team does. You think they'll decline? Like being real? I don't think so. No, I could see him staying pretty flat. Yeah, I think I we mean, we still have, we have some good like juniors and se uh, sophomores. Yeah, there'll be guys to fill that spot. The question's gonna be the quarterback position. Our PK is pretty good. Do you know what year he is? He's a junior. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, with Gavin being the main quarterback, like. An outstanding quarterback. Yeah. You don't see him much. But he did but. Came, come in the uh, Silver Creek game, threw for three touchdowns, I think. Okay. You know, when you you really like that cranberry, don't you? It's not bad. I figured I'll eat it. You're not eating yours. Nah, I'm not going to eat it. It's for anybody else who wants it. Let's move into winter, winter time coming up. Winter That's sports. True. How do you think our basketball team is going to be? I think we're going to be pretty good. You know, last year I predicted the girls' season uh, went farther than the boys. So I'm saying the same thing. Girls are going to do better this year than the boys. Think so? Yes. Basketball tryouts just finished up. Yep. And I heard, like, there's a bunch of juniors. bunch of juniors on the boys' team. I don't know about the girls' team, but I heard from I'm not sure. Is Zoe here? She's right there. Zoe, how's that girls' team going to be? Good. Good. That's all we hear. Good. Good. Great insight. That's good. You know, last, right. this last Tuesday, big drone show up here. Huge drone show. You were you there? I was. I was not. I was also not there, but I heard it was good. It was sick. We had. Was, you want If it was anything like the one at the football game. That's true. It had to be sick. That, that football game show was sweet. That was senior night. We covered the whole thing, and it was cool because you had the band playing on the field, yep. and then the drones in the background. They did a lot of cool stuff. It was for the district put it on because they passed. That bond. That new bond, yeah. Gonna bunch build, of new stuff coming. Yeah, the new uh, school. Yeah, they're going to build a new school just CDC down the road. On side. Yeah, and then a new, like, CTC on this side of the interstate. You have any names for that new school? We actually had that as a attendance question here. And my, my vote was Tai Tai Tower in memory of Tai Tai Turkey. I said Old Moo. 
Old Moo. Old Moo. That'd be a fire pole. I wonder what it actually what the actual name's gonna be. Guess we'll find out. Then we got um, new theater, Unifi- Unified Theater is putting Unified on theater. on the track of the Snowman. That's Hunter, gonna be cool. Hunter, you wanna come over here real quick? Yeah, we'll bring our second guest, Hunter. Yeah. All right, Hunter. Any insight on this uh, the show? Well, it's a show about a guy named Bill Weber on the investigation of a uh, uh, suspect named <coughs> the Snowman. Ooh. And uh, my character, Ro- Robert Cole Barber, is supposed to help him out. And the undercover cop is Kate, kind of. Oh. He's one of our main characters. He does a lot of cool <laughs> stuff for the play. That's cool. Do you know what your role in the play is? A barber? You're a barber? Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. If you guys want to have a cool cut, you guys could call me up. Okay. Oh. If you want a burst fade, hit up Hunter Vickers. Hit up Hunter. That low tip of fade. All right. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. Are we, are we ready for our next food? Yeah. Let's get our second course. You bring it. Come on, Tai Tai Turkey. Sorry. Can you can you take these, too? Yeah, will you take these plates? Can I get my spoon, please? We're reusing spoons? Okay. I mean, if he doesn't start bringing spoons with the... Now I got cranberry with the... Cranberry with the... What is this? Green, green beans? Green bean casserole? Or green beans? I think they're green beans. I'm gonna tell I mean, you. They look like green beans. I mean, they are. Okay. Are we trying? Let's try them. What's the freaking hair, man? Are we peeping that hair or what? I don't see it. I think you're crazy. These are better than the cranberry. <laughs> yes. I don't like cranberries. We should we should rate these. What oh. would you rate the cranberry? Uh, we'll go three. One out of what's three. our scale out here? Of ten. One out of ten. A three. What would you rate these? Solid eight. An eight. I mess with some green beans. Whoa. I'll give it a six. It's got a little weird texture. You're a big texture guy. Huge texture guy. It's the key element. All right. I mean, let's bring in our main guest here. All right. Everybody welcome Robert. <laughs> I swear there's literally a hair in my food. Is there a hair in your food? Yes. Welcome. Good. How are you? Good. Do you not see what you brought your magazine? That's sweet. We were actually talking to you about that. I guess he was talking oh, to you about that yeah, yesterday. The shirt. Oh, we got a shirt to sign. Forget this every time. Oh, will you sign our shirt? Yeah, then you got a headset to your right. Look at that! Look at those green beans right there. Ty Ty, can we get an entree for Robert? Am I seeing that or what? Are you seeing that? Too? Look at that! It's, I think it's part of the green beans, my boy. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you these are microwaves. That is true. By the way, we are using. Was it Safeway food? Gonna, I think it's like Safeway yeah. Thanksgiving. Oh, it doesn't look as good as it started, but. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Good. How you doing? Pretty great. Initial reaction. What are we thinking? Seven. Seven. Seven? I told you they're pretty good. It's in the middle. Yep. Thanks for having me on here, guys. Yeah. Yes. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? My family. Thankful for my family. The health of my kids. Yeah. Yep. Not Fortnite? You ever play Fortnite? <laughs> no. Uh, no Fortnite? Missing out. Uh, I'm not a video gamer. <laughs> <laughs> my kids are big time, but I'm not. Okay. You want to ask, or you want me to? Yeah, you go for it. All right, you know, Thanksgiving is a good time. Uh you have some like Thanksgiving food traditions? We do. We make uh, tamales, Ooh. and of course the traditional turkey. You know, green yeah. beans, casserole, you know, mashed taters and everything. But tamales is the main thing. That's good. Those are actually really good. I heard that you used to be a cook, so like food's got to be a big part of Thanksgiving for you. 
Definitely is. Uh, at one time, I did own my own food truck. Oh. Um, and then when COVID hit, we wind up having to sell it because the laws got mm. a lot stricter with food trucks. But uh, we're in the works on building another one to get it going. Yep. How long did you have that food truck? Uh, we had it for about four years before we shut down. Okay. Yep. What, type, have, of, you on a, what type of food were you? It was Mexican food, but mm. we had a little bit of a of a difference on the like a lot of Mexican uh, food. They're fried meats. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We smoked everything. Ooh. And then we added our own spice and flavor. That That's sounds good. pretty good. So yeah. Do you have like a a main spot to set up at? We did a, mostly uh, events, you know, because I had a full time job. Did mm-hmm. that as you know. As a side hustle, pretty yeah. much, you know. But we did events, and we we made some pretty good money on it. That's good. Yeah. Who would help you with this? My kids. Hey. I, <laughs> I, I got two older boys. Um, they're now 32 and 27s, but they're yeah. – so they're the ones who help me. It's always been family ran. That's good. Keep it close. Yeah. How did you become a campus supervisor? It's a, kind of a long story. Um. Before my full time job, before I started here, I was a truck driver for 20 plus years. Okay. Back in 2022, my daughter's life was taken. Um, I felt a lot of guilt because me and her mom were divorced mm-hmm. and I wasn't there to protect her. So when I seen that the opportunity was open here, I decided to come here to become a campus supervisor to make sure everybody here is safe. You know, if anybody has problems, they can come to me. Or if anybody, you know, goes through something traumatic, they can come to me because I've been through it. So that's that's why I decided to come and work here. Um, so you want to be like an advocate for kids here? Pretty much. Yeah, that's you cool. Know? And like I said, you know, when I felt the guilt that I wasn't there to protect my daughter... I'm here to protect everybody in this building. It's really cool. Yeah. You want to get another course running? We could. Sure, we'll go stuffing. All right, as this food's coming out, um, what would you say your typical day here at Frederick is? Typical day, a lot of walking. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I usually see you in the hall just walking yeah, around. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I average, average about... Between twenty and twenty-five thousand steps a day. Dang. So, a lot of walking. Um, you get your typical kids that are always in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's 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 a good time. I mean, I, I I enjoy talking with some of the kids. You know, even the the kids that are people think they're the troubled kids. You know, they all they all have problems. They all have a story. Mm-hmm. You know, so. That's that's about it. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm a counselor. Yeah. yeah. But, which is good, you know. It, it's all good. You know, I, I enjoy trying to help out, you know, anybody I can. How, how would you rate that? Mm. Um, another, like, seven, seven, eight, seven, five. I, mean, I think these are better than the green beans. Not, it's the stuffing, you know. I'm not a big stuffing guy. Are you big on stuffing? My mom's homemade stuffing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean it's good. It's I would say about seven again. Yeah, yeah, decent side dish. Yeah, yep. we were talking before this, kind of weird, but mac and cheese yes. as a Thanksgiving. Would you consider mac and cheese a Thanksgiving side? Sure, that's what I was saying. Sure. That's what I was saying as well. Why not? What? I mean, a lot of people don't like stuffing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, or they don't like the, the casserole. The green bean casserole. So you know what? What's be- something better next besides the mashed taters? That's mac- true. Mashed potatoes are the best. That is true. You know, this looks pretty good. <laughs> 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 All right. You know, been here what two years now? Yeah, second year. Um, what are some of the funniest or more surprising things that you've encountered here on the campus? Oh, I tell you what. You've probably seen it all. I I have in two years. <laughs> <laughs> I have. From kids dancing, like, just by themselves mm-hmm. in the middle of the hall, doing their TikToks. <laughs> you know, and you surprise them, they get scared. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever joined in on TikTok? I have. Mm. Oh, yeah. I have. You know, I'm always willing to have a good time. You know, got to 
spread the love for everybody. What's the worst part about your job? When you have a kid that's had something traumatic in their life happen and they open up to you. Mm. You know. And like I said, that's what we're here for. Mm. It's good that you're there to listen, though, and he doesn't have to just, I guess, they. Right. You know, have to sit in silence. He's like, I tell everybody, you need somebody to talk to. I got some big old ears, you know. <laughs> that's what they're made for. They're yeah. made for listening. What do you do outside of school? Do you have, like, a favorite hobby? Oh, uh, I do. I build cars. Oh. Yep. Know, you're, yeah, you were talking to me this morning. You got the magazine to show your cars, you know. Yep, I build cars. I'm a, I'm a, a, a lowrider enthusiast. I've been doing that since I was 14 years old. Dang, yeah, long I, time. I built my first car. It was a 1954 Chevy Bel Air. Yep. And then uh, my second car was a 1979 Monte Carlo. And this one that's in the cover of the magazine is a 52 Chevy Fleetline. So we've been, I've been into lowriders for a long time. That's a pretty nice car. That's really cool. Pretty long time. So we got the cover. We got centerfold. So it was pretty neat. I travel a lot. Travel a lot with the uh, car show, in, you know. You do like car shows? Yep. That's cool. A lot of big ones. I don't know if you guys ever heard of like Lowrider Magazine, you know. Yeah, you got you got the ones all up in like Longmont. And, uh, yeah, our the car club I'm in, I've been with them for um, probably about <coughs> – 15, 16 years, uh-huh. and we host the Cinco de Mayo show in Longmont. Mm. That's really cool. So, yeah. Do you have a favorite car? This one right here. That one? Yeah. Yeah, this, that's my baby. <laughs> that's my baby. You want to get another course going? Yeah, we can get another course going. Next course. I feel like I'd put stuffing over the green beans. I would take stuffing over the green beans. What do we got here? What do we got, Ty Ty? This is a sweet potato. The sweet potato, and you got the mashed potatoes in the other Well, I'm going to pass on that sweet potato. Not a sweet potato fan? Yeah. Not a lot of firsts for me today. I know. I'm not a huge sweet potato. My parents are. Those are very sweet, sweet potatoes. Those mashed potatoes are good, though. Gravy's good. They are very sweet. I got to go with the classic mashed potatoes. Yeah. The sweet potato, almost like a pumpkin filling. Like it's like, are we sure they're sweet potatoes? Yeah. Ty Ty, can we check that? Uh, He's going to go rummage the trash can. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm with that. I think potatoes get a nine. A nine? I'm telling you, number one side dish on my plate, I think, Jimmy. Mashed potatoes. I'd have to agree. Oh, that's why it's so sweet. Oh. Sweet potato with maple. Yeah. Sweet you got to talk into your mic, dude. Oh. They probably can't hear you at all. Mashed potatoes is a nine. A nine? Sweet potatoes. I don't really like sweet potatoes, so like it's five. Every time Jackson picks up the mic, he's quiet. I don't know why. That's fine. Fix it I'd rate the sweet potatoes at like a, a four and a half. Yeah. And mashed potatoes are good. Yeah, mashed give them potatoes are good. Yeah, I'll do an eight. Yeah, yep. Kind of going back, what's your favorite thing to cook? Like, ever? I want to say my green chili. Ooh. Yeah, green chili, I love cooking that. And uh, making my homemade tortillas to eat it with. I bet those are good. Oh, man. I mean, I'll have to hook you guys up. One day I'll, I'll have to bring <laughs> something in. Oh, yeah. You were saying that you smoked meats? Like, did you have a big, big smoker and stuff? Oh, yeah. I had a, I'd probably put about 40 pounds of meat in there. Dang. Yep. That's a lot. all night. Get it ready. Yep. What was your favorite meat? I would have to say the asada. Yeah. Yep. Got the asada is good. What's up, Jackson? Nothing much, but <laughs> another question for Robert is like, no, you're talking about how you talk to students. Like, how do you approach building rela- uh, relationships with the students? You know, you got to gain everybody's trust, and everybody's got to gain your trust. You know, I'm, I'm not here to judge anybody. You know, if somebody, if I even see somebody getting in trouble, I'll be like, hey, man, is there something you need to talk mm-hmm. about? You know, what's going on? You're having mm-hmm. a bad day. 
I mean, I'm sure at first a lot of kids didn't trust me. Were like, "Oh man, this guy's just a mean, yeah. mean old man." Yeah, I, I, I'd say that. Like, <laughs> see you in the halls like last year. It was like, who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm loud, but it's like I gotta do my job at the same yeah. time. You know, there was a lot of people, you know, a lot of kids. You're like, you know, why are you so strict? Well, I got rules I gotta enforce. Mm-hmm. But yet, you know, at the same time, I still have a kind side of me. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Do you have a favorite part of the building? Mm, not really. Favorite part of the building? Not really. I mean, I go to the sea hallway. I like looking at the art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because like I said, build the cars. If you ever see this, I'll leave this magazine so you guys can check it out real quick or if you want to pass it around right now. But uh, art. Yeah. I love art. So... Definitely, I just did a contest in Miss Kerr's class, mm. you know, for her beginning ceramics and for advanced ceramics, and I donated three hundred fifty dollars, you know, to the winners. That's really cool. So, yeah, but art's a big thing. Do you think your cars reflected like your artistic style? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, a part of me is an Aztec. My grandmother is an Aztec Indian from Mexico. Um, so this car is named Azteca 52, so everything on it is mm-hmm. all Aztec. So. Huh. Would you paint your cars? Like hand paint them? No. No? Nope, not hand paint at all. Uh, the paint job on this car it's probably run, ran me about 30 grand. Dang. So, yeah. It's all custom done. All custom done. How many, how many more courses we got? Ty, Ty, how many more courses we got? Two more. Two All right, more. you want to go through let's them real go. quick? We'll get, the, we'll get the turkey going. All right, this is like the main, main course. Main course. The real one. All right, Robert, the real question is. Why do you give us knives? Yeah. No, what, turkey or ham? Oh, Ooh, good turkey. Question. turkey. Turkey? Turkey. I'm more of a ham guy. <coughs> You're very fast on the turkey. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do turkey. Do you like it like cooked a certain way? Because I know like I like it both smoked and and baked. Definitely mm. like a good bake. You know, if it's braised right, mm-hmm. you know, nice and juicy. Smoked is the same way. Yeah. Yep. If you smoke something right, it's insane. That's a good turkey right there. Yeah. That's pretty good. I feel like ham is better than turkey on Thanksgiving. Yeah. I like it ham- depends on how it's cooked though, because you can have a way better turkey. Than a ham. Mm-hmm. I cook ham with beans. Ham and beans? Yep. Put them in a crock pot with your beans, some ham in there. The flavor of the ham gets with the beans. Like what kind of beans? Pinto beans. Huh. Mm. Man. Some good stuff. That's a new one. It's a pretty good turkey. So it's pretty good. What'd you rate it? Nine. Nine? Best part about Thanksgiving is like next week you just make those sandwiches with everything on it. Oh yeah, oh, the yeah. leftovers. Yeah. Leftover sandwiches. What are you feeling on this? Let me go eight and a half. Eight and a half, yep. Yeah, I got nine. Nine, I'll, nine. I'll go nine, yep. That flavor on there, it was, it was pretty good. You want to finish my plate. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get this last one going, though? Pumpkin pie? Sure. We'll bring it out. Ty, Ty. You want to keep the turkey? Sure, yeah. Keep the turkey. We'll finish this. Got some pumpkin pie going. Is pumpkin pie the best dessert for Thanksgiving? Mm. Thank you. You already ate all the turkey? Yeah. <laughs> Turkey's good, man. Are you a big whipped cream guy? I do. I, I like whipped cream. You want some? I'll get some whipped cream going. All right. Open that boy up. Yeah, I like that whipped cream. Really. I say we go. We can go one bite without, one bite with. I never really had pumpkin pie. You've never had pumpkin pie? No, bro. I don't eat pie. No. My favorite pie is that pecan pie. Pecan? You say pecan? Yeah. Not pecan? Not pecan, pecan. You like key lime pie? No. No. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. I think key lime pie is one of the best pies. Yeah? Probably goes apple pie, pumpkin pie, key lime pie. Mine is pecan pie, chocolate cream, and banana cream. I do like chocolate cream. That's probably the only pile to eat. Yeah. 
chocolate cream. You ever had that? Uh-uh. You ever had like the, it's kind of like the one from Burger King. They ever had that one? <laughs> Burger King? Dude, they got no. a good little pie. Yeah, yeah, really? Little pie. Yeah. yeah. I've never even had a, I don't think I've ever had Burger King. Oh, it just went everywhere. <laughs> Yikes. That's a pretty good pie, actually. Yeah. I'm going like nine, nine and a half. We've actually got some pretty good ratings today. Way better than the bop and flop. <laughs> yeah. We had, what's TJ's last name? Yonches. Yonches. We had him in here last week. We did bop or flop. Like we presented him bills and it went bad. It was like three, three of them passed. Yeah. Seven of them <laughs> it was flopped. like three to seven or something like that. We need better questions, but I think today's going pretty good. How, yeah. You know. One last question for you is like, what is one thing you would tell a student in FHS? To all my vapors, don't vape here in school. Keep it out. That's a good. That's pretty good. Keep it out of school. I mean, this ain't the place for it. Yeah. Do you catch a lot? Caught quite a few. Yeah. Caught quite a few. Where do you, is it mostly the bathrooms? Yeah. Bathrooms mostly, you know, it's like, why? I always, yeah. uh, you know, I was, at, and I asked the same question to the kids when I catch them, like, why? You know, we, you know, a lot of people get to have the bad habits, you know, yeah. people who smoke, oh, I got to have my, you know, got to have, but it's like, do it at home. Get off here, yeah. yep. Feel that. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen here? Crazy. That you can say on here? <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> I can't. And I, honestly, I can't, I can't really say. Mm. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, it's a good time. Well, to yeah. Yeah. We thank you for coming on well, here. Well, I appreciate you guys, man. Like I said, anybody, anybody needs somebody to talk to. Hit Robert up. Open Hit me man. Up. I'm always here. Yeah. Well, we thank you guys for tuning in to episode three. Have thank a, you, Robert. Yeah, have an amazing break. Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah. This will drop Monday. Right before Thanksgiving, yeah. All right, thank, thank you. you guys for tuning in. I'm Mason Schifranek. Jackson Gibbs. Robert Espindola. Thank you guys. See ya. Birds are out.